I want to show you what it looks like to have over 300 succulents inside your house. I actually recently reduced my collection from over 400. I gave away about 100 succulents and now I'm down to just over 300. I believe it's 312 if you want to be exact. Uh, pots of succulents in my house and I have them in three different areas. I was getting a little overwhelmed with the 400. It took a couple hours to water because I can't just spray them all with a hose. It takes some time. And so I reduced my collection a little bit and I'm really proud of how it turned out. So I'm gonna show you what it looks like. And I just have to give a shout out to the members of the Succulent Lovers Club. There's a link in the description if you wanna check that out. I had expressed to the members of the club that I was feeling a little bit overwhelmed. I wasn't really sure how to clean out my succulents, what to do with them. And they had so many great suggestions. They were super encouraging and just really, um, it really hit home to me that I need to take care of my succulents in a way that works for me and having too many was not working. And so they were super encouraging of finding ways to give these succulents to other people, get my succulents into a more manageable number, and here we are. And also, just for the record, I did not actually count all of my succulents one by one. Um, I have them all in the succulent tracker app, and once you've added all your plants in there, it counts them for you, both when you add and subtract and all of that. So it's a beautiful thing. They are all in there and that helps me keep these all watered and know when I've watered and know when they need water. So let's take a look. All right, first up we have the office succulents. So I have three, uh, three shelves here that all of these succulents are on. And you can see like there's actually some space on the shelving, there's room for more succulents. Whereas it wasn't that way before. These were like packed to the brim. If I took one succulent off, I had to make sure I put it right back in that place so that they would all fit. And you can see up here on the top shelf, I have all of my snappy pots. It's gonna be a little bit noisier in this room because we have some 3D printers running, printing more snappy pots. Um, but I am so happy right now with how this shelf looks. There are some plants that you know could still use a little bit of love, but overall everything that is here is healthy it just got watered two days ago so it's soaking up all the water refilling their leaves and i am like i said i'm just really happy with how this turned out um there are some succulents down here you can see we have a lula's garden that is non-draining so i'm kind of testing that out to see how long that lasts and how often i water it i also have this glass planter back here that also doesn't have a drainage hole I have some Haworthias in it because they tend to be a little bit more forgiving of non-draining pots. They tend to tolerate a lot of water and they tend to tolerate being really dry. So Haworthias are just a really good go-to plant. I have another Haworthia right here that is exploding. Um, that one I actually want to divide up into a few different pots. And then I have not found that Flapjacks, Cal and Coey, um, grow super well for me indoors. It's, that one's really struggled. So I'm gonna try and revive it. I don't have great hope for it, but we'll see what happens. So this is a shelf number one in the office, and I have two more sections to show you. All right, this is shelf number two. This uh, unit, uh, this shelving unit, is the newest to my collection. I've had it about a year. Um, the shelf that I just showed you in my office, I've had for two and a half, almost three years. And then the walnut plant stand that I'll show you in a minute has also had, I've also had that for about two years. Um, you can see my kids and I have been painting and doing some random artwork. So that's being displayed up there. Um, I actually love this little, this little light setup. I got it on Amazon. It's worked really well for this set of succulents because they're pretty low. So I'm very, I'll give you a close up. I'm very happy with those, how those are looking. There is a flapjacks Cal and Coey there that you can see. Um, the little elephant bush isn't super happy, but everything else is doing pretty good. And then this used to be kind of my rescue shelf. There's definitely still some um, rescue plants like this string of kittens. And this is a Necheveria chroma that's not looking awesome, but it is looking a lot better. And then I have these cuttings that are still recovering from my super neglect of them. Um, these came from a succulent topped pumpkin from about a year and a half ago. And um, it's just been a really abused arrangement, but I also love this raku pot that I got for it. Anyway, so that one, it's on its way to looking better. Um, I have this beautiful lilac mist right here in a lovely Hammerly Ceramics pot, 
one of my favorite ceramic artists. Um, just lots of really great stuff here. Again, you can see I have space on my shelf. I can add some new succulents if I want, but I'm actually gonna try and keep it fairly limited and just add succulents that I'm really excited about. I'm gonna try and not take on so many project succulents, succulents that need more attention, because I'm finding that just keeping 300 alive is enough work for me, um, let alone trying to revive some of them. So again, these are these are doing pretty well overall. One that I'm really surprised about is this Aeonium lily pad. It has done incredibly well under the grow lights, and I'm, I'm surprised. Aeoniums have not been something that have worked well for me, but the lily pad has. And then I have a little propagation tray here. This is all leaf propagation. So anything you see there has been grown from a leaf. Um, I guess over here on the right hand side, these have not been grown from leaves. But I've got my Fred Ives in there, um, Mother of Millions in the back there, and all of my smart timers so that I don't have to turn the grow lights on and off. And then this one's struggling. I have a couple videos about this one that you can go follow up with and see the see the progress that that one's made. It's had a rough life. Um, severe mealybug infestation. You can see I've got my safer soap spray there. Um, but again, some more space so that I can spread these out. I can add more succulents later if I want, but just sticking with the mostly healthy succulents or ones that are easier for me to care for right now. And then last and definitely not least is the beautiful walnut plant stand that my husband built this is in our kitchen and it is far and away my favorite succulent space in the house so down here on this shelf the bottom shelf is a little bit taller than the other two shelves and so i have most of my lower light succulents in there so you can see um, a lot of horortheas gasterias um, the aloes could take more light but they're also happy there same with the agaves um, and then the very sad um, pink butterflies there that they're they're just still going same with uh, these rainbow kalanchoes they've had a rough life too but you know what they're getting better see how they're see how they're nice and clumped up here now they still could use a little bit more light but as they get closer um, they're gonna do a lot better so I need to chop these up propagate some more from leaves and thicken them up a bit it's gonna be really fun at some point we'll have a bunch of little rainbow kalanchoe babies to play with but um, that's the lower light shelf and then this is kind of the propagation side so I have a bunch of leaf propagations here in our little snappy pots when we first started doing snappy pots I printed a ton of these and it's so fun having them in little pots so check out snappypots.com the little one inch pots if you want some adorableness for your leaf propagation like as if leaf propagation wasn't cute enough then you put them in tiny pots and put little hearts and stars and bees on them just gets more fun um, I'm super obsessed if you can't tell there's just a group of propagation there in the back just a variety of different things I'm propagating some of those were from cuttings some from leaves and then over here we just have a mismatch just a bunch of random succulents I'm loving these um, Graptopetalum super bums, they are also loving the grow lights. They've done really, really well here. Um, I love just like the thick, chunky leaves, the purple color, super fun. And then this is actually the shelf that maybe got the most dramatic change. This was really packed to the brim. Now there's some space in here and oh, it just everything has room to breathe. And I have a few less plants to take care of, and I'm super happy about the ones that we have left, the ones that we're working on. Um, I still have a, some, some challenges with this hybrid. It was another one that got majorly infested with mealybugs, but it is on the mend, and I think we have finally eradicated the mealybugs thanks to a combination of alcohol, safer soap, and then a while ago we did um, a fertilome treatment, so that has neem oil in it, which can be problematic for it. You can see actually there is some burn or damage on these leaves that started with the, the neem oil treatment, but I think we got rid of the mealybugs. So we're back to having everything in pretty good shape, no mealybugs, and space for everything to just spread out and have a little more air around it, a little more space and a few less succulents for me to water. It is back to being my super happy place again.
So there you go. That is just over 300 succulents all in a few square feet of my house. It is really, this especially is like really my happy place. I love looking at these, seeing everything growing really well, all the bright fun colors. But the big takeaway that I've had just in the last few weeks is make sure that you are picking succulents that are good for you and a quantity that's good for you. It is so easy to just keep buying and keep buying and keep buying. And buying a couple hundred succulents is super fun. Caring for 300 succulents is a different story. It still can be a lot of fun, but you've got to pay attention to what you have time for, what you have the energy for. But at the end of the day, the cool thing about succulents is they can go for a long period of time without water. So some of these are pretty severely underwatered. They could use a little pick me up, but they had gone for almost four weeks without water and most of them still look just fine. There's a few that are, you know, getting a little, a little crispy from too much light and not enough water, but I am so happy with how things currently are. And like I said, I just have to thank the members of the Succulent Lovers Club for all of their help and support. Um, they were excited with me as I looked at the prospect of giving some to neighbors and my neighbors were thrilled to get a bunch of succulents and pots for free. So that was really fun. And then Again, the club members were super encouraging when I showed them the finished product. They got a sneak peek because they're the club members, so they got to see it first. But um, it just, I'm so glad that I have this community who understands all the ups and downs and the fun of growing succulents. So I'd love to have you come join us in the Succulent Lovers Club. There will be links in the description below. And then if you have questions about anything that was in the video, feel free to post in the comments, read through the description. We'll have a lot of links in there, like more details about the plant stand, um, snappy pots, the Second Lovers Club, all of those good things. And just remember, have fun growing succulents. This is not supposed to be something stressful. So if your succulents are causing you a little bit of stress, find a way to reduce that stress. Come join the Second Lovers Club, learn how to take better care of them, get input and feedback about your specific succulents, like personalized help, or you know, just watch some more YouTube videos and learn what you need to do to help keep your succulents looking amazing. I'll see you next time.